Again, I stress widely scattered showers, maybe a couple thunder showers, but that means here, there, and maybe one way out there. All in all, nice. The extension of the forecast looks this way. Real nice. On Sunday, partly cloudy with a chance of showers high near 75. Mostly sunny Monday, mostly sunny Tuesday. Temperatures working their way back to 80s. For Louisville and the Kentucky Derby, the forecast will be a high temperature expected about 85, and there will be some scattered or isolated showers of thunderstorms. Want to come out or have us come out? Here's the barbecue forecast, all right? It's 500 Central Avenue, 45202. Just drop me a Carter letter, and uh, hey, we'll consider it because we're going to be doing this throughout the summer. Pat and Carol, I wish you and everybody out there a great weekend. Thanks for letting me come out and do my first barbecue forecast out at Fairmont. Have a good weekend. Hey, Bob, we'll see you back here later. Okay, Pat. Bye-bye. Used to be they were just called DJs, those anonymous voices who would spin records on the radio. More and more, though, they're a big part of the show, and they're not so anonymous any longer. Tonight, in the final part of her special report behind the mic, Janet Gross takes us to a studio where the DJs pride themselves on being more than just announcers. 102. Jimmy Swaggart talks about his association with the Q Morning Zoo. I am so very, very sorry that I've had to engage myself in it, but I've had no choice. The Q Morning Zoo. Q 102. Jim Fox and Chris so O'Brien yuck it up every weekday morning on WKRQ. Fox drinking coffee, a lot of coffee to carry him through the show, but O'Brien says he's more or less used to this early stuff. It's tough sometimes. You, you wake up and it's like, especially like by Wednesday or Thursday, it's like, you know, uh, you know, time to make the donuts. You'd never know it though from listening. In their show, they try to be as wild as possible. <laughs> Don Cornelius, Soul Train. Yeah! Light your matches! Fox says usually he's not this way in real life. Outside the station, his personality is a little different. Oh, real shy. Real shy. How did you ever go into this then? Uh, thought it was a way to meet girls. <laughs> did it work? And I have. No. <laughs> what you hear on the air is pretty much what I am. I'm not really on all the time. I mean, when I get away from the station and, and go home, I'm pretty much of a homebody. But for O'Brien, home and work makes a lot. His wife is a DJ here, too. 40 now. I'm Janine Coyle on Q102. Got the All My Kids report coming up at 1140 this morning. Find out who's doing the hubba bubba. This banana commercial has done a lot for Fox and O'Brien. It lets people put a face and a banana suit together with a voice. Fox says he even gets recognized in grocery stores now. And then he weighs the bananas and then it kicks in and he says, you the banana man. Hey, Reggie, come up here. We got the banana man in here. But Fox and O'Brien, like all the DJs we talked with, consider themselves lucky. After all, it's not often a job lets you talk to thousands and thousands of people every day still act like this. In Cincinnati, I'm Janet Gross, Channel 9 News. Looks like a party all the time. <laughs> but I tell you, no party on Wall Street today. The Dow lost almost six points to finish the week at 2,280.